Today's evening devotional. In the dens and caves of the earth. And they shall go into the holes of the rocks, and into the caves of the earth, for fear of the Lord, and for the glory of his majesty, when he ariseth to shake terribly the earth. Isaiah chapter 2 verse 19. The hidden ones have been scattered because of man's enmity against the law of Jehovah. They have been oppressed by all the powers of the earth. They have been scattered in the dens and caves of the earth through the violence of their adversaries, because they are true and obedient to Jehovah's laws. But deliverance comes to the people of God. To their enemies God will show himself a God of just retribution. From the dens and the caves of the earth, that have been the secret hiding places of God's people, they are called forth as his witnesses, true and faithful. The people who have braved out their rebellion will fulfill the description given in Revelation chapter 6 verses 15 to 17. In these very caves and dens they find the very statement of truth in the letters and in the publications as witness against them. The shepherds who lead the sheep in false paths will hear the charge made against them, it was you who made light of truth. It was you who told us that God's law was abrogated, that it was a yoke of bondage. It was you who voiced the false doctrines when I was convicted that these Seventh-day Adventists had the truth. The blood of our souls is upon your priestly garments. Now will you pay the ransom for my soul? What shall we do who listen to your garbling of the scriptures and your turning into a lie the truth which if obeyed would have saved us? When Christ comes to take vengeance on those who have educated and trained the people to trample on God's Sabbath, to tear down his memorial, and tread down with their feet the feet of his pastures, lamentations will be in vain. Those who trusted in the false shepherds had the word of God to search for themselves, and they find that God will judge every man who has had the truth and turned from the light because it involved self-denial and the cross. Rocks and mountains cannot screen them from the indignation of him that sitteth on the throne and from the wrath of the Lamb.